Hi Capricorn, welcome to your Love Connection reading for April. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Capricorn, we are going to take a look at a love connection you believe you have with somebody. So it has to be somebody that you know or you know each other, but you don't necessarily have to be together. So whatever your situation is, um, this is for male or female watching, doesn't m matter. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please only take what resonates and throw away the rest. May not even resonate with you, so please don't try to make it fit if it doesn't. So welcome, Capricorn. Hope everybody's doing well. So let's see what's going on with Capricorn in love at this time or for April. I do consider my readings timeless, so your playlists are below if you'd like to go back. General and love, as well as the decks I'm using, social media links, how to reach out for personal reading. Um, if you'd like to tip, donate, send a gift, or any of that, uh, all that info is below in the description box, as well as the first pin top comment. The super chat is open during the premiere only for donations if you don't feel comfortable using uh, PayPal. Okay, so if you do, thank you so much. <clears throat> Let's see. I hope everybody's staying safe. Capricorn. This is a zodiac oracle, so we could get a sign element or planet and we'll see what comes out for you if you don't resonate with what comes out here totally totally fine sort of like a little extra bonus okay we have pluto energy <clears throat> which is the energy of scorpio i believe and <clears throat> scorpio is about life death rebirth sex power control so we'll see how that uh, pertains to your reading. So you could be dealing with the Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, or um, could be the energy of the planet Pluto. So we shall see. We shall see how this plays out. Okay, thank you everybody for your support to me and the channel, whichever way you have supported. Thank you, thank you. Capricorn. So I'm going to pull, first I'm going to pull a love energy between you and your person, whoever you're thinking about at this time. So what is the love energy like between Capricorn and this person, their person at this time for this love reading? Thank you, Spirit, for Capricorn, please, and love. Okay, I think that's your card. Oh, we have the tower, I believe that is. So we have 19, which is 10. Tens are completions, but one is always a new beginning. We have the Six of Spades, which is about the Six of Swords, is about going to a better place, <clears throat> leaving crap and BS behind and going to a more conful, peaceful, balancing place. So I just want to read a little snippet of the tower here. Corporations, organizations, institutions, and governments come under my influence. I am boundaries and restrictions, so be mindful of isolation. I describe your ambitions as well as your expectations and let's not forget your higher education so <clears throat> we'll see how that plays into your reading to me that looks like a palace a very like enriching um bountiful energy so we'll see how that you know abundance prosperity that's the energy i get but we'll see how this plays out so capricorn i will put you here and your person here. I'm going to pull one for you, one for your person, how you're feeling about each other and the connection. And then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot. Then we'll look at the actual connection, advice, possible outcome. And we'll pull some extra um, whispers of love readings uh, cards for your reading. If you're interested in the decks I'm using, they are, they are also listed below and we had to purchase them. All right, Spirit, please, for Capricorn. How is Capricorn feeling about their person at this time? Okay. And how is Capricorn's person feeling about this per about them at this time, if I can speak? Okay, I think that's it. And then we'll do the bottom of the deck. So Capricorn, you have, oh, you have loyalty. And you have the Ten of Hearts, the Ten of Cups, which is about total fulfillment, joy, happiness, happy home and family. We have 18, which is 9. 9, again, is almost at the end of a completion because you get 9, then 10, then 1, and you start over, a new beginning. Or it doesn't have to be a new beginning. So 9 here. 9 has, for me, in the tower, has a lot of different readings. Being a wounded warrior, not giving up, wish fulfillment, happiness and joy, uh, stress, worry, anxiety, 
and being very self-fulfilled, self-efficient and independent. So we'll see how that uh, plays out. So let's see how your person is feeling. Oh, we have the clover. This is about luck. Luck and fate and fortune, a surprise. We have the six of pentacles at the bottom, which is about balance, equal reciprocity. We have two, which is about unity. Okay, so I'm just going to read a little the little snippets because I just think they're really cute for each card. They're fairly short. So we have 18, which is the dog, which is loyalty. This is how you are feeling about your person in the connection. <clears throat> loyalty and friendship is what I stand for. I am protection and trust, support and reliance. When negative cards are around, make sure to take a closer look. I could be your counselor, your pet, or your best friend. So I think you are very loyal to this person. Ten of Cups, you have that self-fulfillment, happiness, joy, happy home and uh, family energy. Nine, it could be about wish come true here with this person. Very... Um, Enriching energy I get there. A lot of growth, abundant, prosperity, energy in the connection here. So your person has the uh, clover here. So let me read a little snippet on that. So it says here, I bring you luck and happiness. I make things better. And as long as there isn't a negative card after me, I will turn difficulties to opportunities. I am the nice surprise and the happy size. So... <clears throat> this person feels very lucky to have you. They bring you bring a lot of balance to them, and they really uh, they just love this divine unity here. Maybe you know you give them a lot of surprises, and they like that. I don't know. We'll see. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck for this connection. So we have the star here, seventeen, which is eight. Eight is about taking action, movement, travel. The Queen of Cups at the bottom there. Queen of Hearts. It's about love and um, intuition, happiness and joy kind of energy, deep feelings and emotions, caring, healing, nurturing kind of energy. So let's see what the start has to say. With movements, upgrades, and improvements, I bring spring, and we just started spring, and the change of season. Sometimes my symbol stands for a new family addition or simply a new state of evolution. I can be your move or your next promotion <clears throat> maybe some of you got just got a new pet or some of you may be trying to um conceive and you may find out like a lucky surprise here that you indeed are expecting some of you or maybe you're trying to adopt a pet and maybe that is your um new addition to the family here so however that resonates for you. So that's kind of an odd message, but um, but the stark energy there is about news, you know, and that kind of energy, good news. And starks there, I do believe, mate for life. So I do believe we have a soulmate energy here. So we're going to clarify. And the Scorpio card, the Pluto there, just, just talk about life, new life, death, rebirth, like going through a transformation, in like renewing, transforming, rebirthing yourself in a way, but it's also about sex power and control. So I don't, we'll see. I don't get any, any negative energy from that card. I, all good cards here so far, Capricorn, all good. So let's see, hopefully we get a good reading from the tarot. I don't feel comfortable, I didn't ask it. So spirit, please, can we clarify this energy here for Capricorn with the loyalty, with the dog card, the 10 of cups energy, <clears throat> towards their person with the tower i mean the tower in the tower does represent you know that shock that change that uh lightning striking kind of energy but i'm not getting that kind of energy um with this so we have the five of pentacles so it's about being left out in the cold and neglected so why is that here for capricorn that's your energy capricorn we have the magician this is manifesting a brand new beginning and i did say um, so if you add these up, we got nine, 10, we have eight, nine, 10, and then we have one here for a new beginning. And then your person has two for unity. So I feel like here there's been action and movement. There's not giving up and wishes coming true. And then there's completion of something and a brand new beginning. And then there's unity here. 
So if your person has felt like left out in the cold or neglected from you or whatever here, they, or if they took that energy from you, if they kind of took their energy from you, it kind of ghosted you, left out in the cold energy, now I feel like they want to be loyal. They see the growth and abundance with you. It's like they want to make for life now. They have a lot of love and emotions. King or queen, doesn't matter. And now they're ready to manifest this brand new beginning with you. They're ready to be loyal to you, Capricorn. So let's see. It's like for them a lucky surprise that finally they get the balance and the reciprocity in this connection and the unity that they wanted. Maybe they're ready to give up on you. If you feel like at any time these roles need to be reversed or changed or switched or flip-flop, please feel free to do that. If you feel like this is you and this is your person, then please do that. But for now, I'm saying this is you and this is them. So just switch it however you see fit. So why do we have... Oh, that's way too many. All right, let's take those two. <clears throat> well, we have two cards in reverse here. I'm not sure if I want to take them because they did fall out awkwardly in a big clump so i think i'm going to start again okay so why do we have the clover here for capricorn's person about how they're feeling for capricorn spirit please to clarify king of pentacles okay now it's upright it just fell so that's our energy the king of pentacles is actually actually virgo but it is earth virgo taurus capricorn so they are uh you are definitely in their energy here with the King of Pentacles energy. They see you as someone very stable, secure, and grounded. Or maybe now you're coming in in that energy as the magician and they see you now <clears throat> as finally giving them the stability, the structure, the foundation that they want. Being very secure, giving them the security and this uh, unity that they want. Now putting in the dedicated effort and the work in this. So. And they could also be somebody who's also in that energy, king or queen, very stable, secure, and grounded energy. Here, Eight of Pentacles, putting in the dedicated effort and the hard work. Some of you may have, may have met this person at work. We have a lot of pentacle energy here. Just your energy, Capricorn. So they're wanting to put in the work here on this uh, connection with you, Capricorn. Definitely, you're all up in their energy. <clears throat> okay, Capricorn. So let's look at the actual situation what's going on here for you capricorn please i feel like the balance is finally coming in with the six of spades six of swords energy there between the two of you you know they want to put in the hard work you're ready to manifest this now come out of the cold from this ready to be loyal they feel so lucky now a surprise mating for life here with the storks having all this growth and abundant energy here with the tower it just looks like a golden palace to me all right, so Capricorn, what is the actual situation? Capricorn, Six of Cups, wow, and I said soulmate. So this is definitely a soulmate energy here. You could have known them since childhood, high school, college, uh, or known them for a very long time. Uh, past life energy also, memories, nostalgia energy. And this is coming in on your side, Capricorn. So maybe now you finally realize after, you know, you've kind of maybe ghosted them or took your energy from them, or maybe they did you, however that resonates now, but someone is finally coming in, being stable and grounded, ready to work on it, manifest it. Now knowing this is a definitely soulmate connection here with the Six of Cups. Someone feels a connection now after uh, taking some time apart here. Wow. So now we have a seven of wands. So somebody's ready to fight for this, defend it. Energy, a lot of fire and passion. Now it's coming under your energy, Capricorn. So I feel like now, like I said, you or your person feels like, okay, I retracted my energy or they did from me, but I'm ready to manifest this. I know it's a past life or just a soulmate energy or I've known them for a very long time, ready to fight for it, not give up, feeling very fiery, passionate about them and the connection. And right in the middle of your spread here is the Two of Cups energy. And there's that two there. Here's the unity, soulmate union here. The Two of Cups energy. Soulmates coming into union. And celebrating the Three of Cups. So we go two, three. So we're progressing here. Two, three. So now we're celebrating, having a good time. They actually, they do want to reunite with you. Capricorn, come together. Have happy times. And move this forward with the chariot. 
a lot of drive, ambition, balance, success, victory. So they're ready to drive this home and celebrate and come into the soulmate union. And I feel like now you are ready to defend this and fight for it. And I said, let's get advice. And we got the star. So the advice here from Spirit is this is a divinely guided connection. It's fate. It's destiny. Uh, wishes coming true. And I had said that at the beginning. Nines are also a, you know, about wishes coming true. Faith, hope, optimism, energy, healing, energy. So what else do we have here? Strength. Very strong bond between the two of you. Having endurance, willpower, uh, courage, determination. Five of Swords energy here. <clears throat> this is all the advice. Five of Swords um, sometimes can be a very egocentric card or uh, trying to get ahead at all means and costs, not caring how you do it. Or it's an energy, can be in a good energy or a bad energy, depending on the cards around. Um, also, it can be an energy, okay, do I just say I'm defeated and walk away or do I continue to fight to get what I want no matter what? But we do have the King of Wands here, too. So very fiery, passionate energy. So, so far we do have a Pluto is Scorpio. And we have Cancer. We have Virgo. We have Sagittarius, Leo, Aquarius. So... So I feel, you know, this king wants a very, very fiery, passionate, go-getter kind of energy. They go after what they want kind of energy. So the advice here is to go after what you want, but not in a negative way. You know, it is about that drive, that ambition, the passion energy to have endurance, willpower, strength here, endurance to go after this wish and this dream, this divinely guided energy. A lot of healing between the two of you. There can be a lot of healing. Between the two of you. Just watch out for this hurting others or getting ahead at all costs kind of energy. However, that um, <coughs> plays out for you. So, kind of energy. And I do see the star here now shining around the moon, which the star is here. So just know this is a uh, double energy here for me for divinely guided energy. It's divinely guided. Not to get, I'm just getting not to give up. Do what you need to do. If you need to cut out people no longer serving you with the sword energy, you know, do it not in a mean, nasty way, but all right. All right. So Capricorn, let's get possible outcome now between you and this connection. Seven of Pentacles. So this is about investing, assessing evaluating kind of energy, whether to invest, not to invest, or you've invested and now you're waiting. So maybe, you know, you've invested and now they're waiting because this is your energy. Pentacle is uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So you could, you know, you've invested and then maybe you invested so much and said, okay, I'm not getting that equal reciprocity. So I'm going to turn my back with the five of Pentacles energy and wait and see what happens. But now I feel like the other person here is ready or... Uh, how about this resonates for you? So somebody turned their back. Somebody is now ready to manifest this forward, realizing it's a divine soulmate connection. Yeah, see, I had said somebody turned their back here with the Five of Cups, feeling regret and remorse. It's like they, somebody here, possible outcome here is somebody invested and invested, decided to turn their back and walk away and then feeling regret and remorse over that decision and looking back on this person, the person could be you with the uh, pentacle energy. So if your person did this to you, they're looking back with regret and remorse about you or vice versa. However, that resonates for you. So let's get one more. But I do see the advice here is to go after this. It's divinely guided soulmate energy. There is a lot of uh, drive, ambition, and passion. It's very strong connection here between the two of you. The tower. So, and there's double confirmation of the tower. So there's a lightning striking that I talked of here. Again, the tower can be a surprise. So the surprise, and this is a lucky surprise here. <clears throat> so it could be if it's you, Capricorn, waiting for your person to come back and work on it. 
that could be the surprise here with the tower, a lucky surprise that now they're returning. They've had an epiphany, aha moment, could be the tower moment also, could be returning here, having regret and remorse about either making you wait or however it resonates for you. So let's just get, uh, why is the tower here? Why is the tower? The Eight of Swords. Yeah, mental blockages here. Somebody was a little trapped in their head about this uh, connection. Didn't quite know what to do. But you see this man or woman, doesn't matter, holding their head. like, And that could be the tower. They're like having an epiphany here. And having truth and clarity with the Ace of Swords. My divine intervention. My divine clarity card. Victorious new beginning based on truth and clarity, cutting away energies, people, places, things no longer serving, standing up, telling it like it is, no BS, open, honest, truthful communication. All right, so yeah, I feel like somebody was trapped in the head. They had a big aha moment, tower moment, realizing, oh my God, this is my divine soulmate. So now ready, you know, looking back, ready, like they're looking back here, like they're ready to return now because they see the other one sees the other one waiting. So now they're ready to return. Is there any more, any more here? Knight of Cups, ready to return on their horse, taking action in love and wanting to move love forward now. And I had said that. So now returning in love. And this is Scorpio energy. So there's a Scorpio coming through. Doesn't have to be. But now they're ready to move forward, come forward, taking action in love. I feel like they had an epiphany and a tower moment. Look back on regret, remorse, on making the other wait. So now they're returning with their love. Wow. Okay. So <clears throat> we have the sun. So there you go. Success, victory, happiness, and joy, enlightenment, healing, everything positive with the sun. We have Leo energy here. Nine of Pentacles, so a single independent energy, but this is your energy, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So, you know, I think they see you someone, as someone very um, abundant, can take care of themselves, independent. Page of Swords, so could have been watching each other online, keeping tabs, honest, truthful communication here. Two of Pentacles, so someone feeling a little imbalanced here, needing to make a choice. Balancing out energies, so going in and reflecting here, figuring out what they want with the Hermit energy, which is Virgo. Being at a crossroads, deciding what to do with the two of wands. Needing to make a decision, a little unsure for a time there, having that stress, worry, anxiety I talked about, laying down burdens here with the Ten of Wands. Again, rushing forward now with the Knight of Swords energy and the King of Swords. So this is um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius specifically Gemini and Aquarius, but doesn't have to be. So again, coming forward with true clarity, rushing forward now, moving forward quickly now with open, honest communication communication, and cutting away things and all that energy, having clarity. So somebody has definite clarity here about moving forward uh, fearlessly now in this connection after laying down burdens, no longer serving them. It could be all the stress and worry they had, unable to make a decision at a crossroads, gone and reflected, figured out what they wanted, feeling a little imbalanced, but now having open, honest, truthful communication, they see the growth abundance. So somebody's growth abundance being very independent. And now they want the success, victory, healing, joy, happiness, every, everything super positive with the sun energy. Wow. All right. So, so let's get some closing messages here for you. Capricorn, Capricorn, if you like my style, how I read, or if you're new, feel free to check out my channel. You can like, share, subscribe, comment. <clears throat> Be greatly appreciated. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. You get about five readings a month. And if you do, thank you. All right. Capricorn. I'm bringing back the series. Messages from uh, spirit. Or spirit messages in the singles reading. If you're si totally single. All right. So what are some messages? Wow, those just went flying right on the floor. So let me get those messages for you, Capricorn. All right. We have love makes the difference. Love can help heal past hurts and provides a sense of security, self-worth, and importance. 31 there, which is four, which is about stability. So the love will make the difference this time coming together in the soulmate union. Someone returning here. 
and we have the only thing that is real is love shift your focus from the problem back to love seven years of only very divinely guided spiritual energy so shifting back to love and the only thing real is love love makes the difference so i think this time things will be different <clears throat> and i think this is a real true love here between two let's get one more and then we'll do the bottom wow and what did i just say about true love true love this love is a once in a lifetime love 30 which is three again which is about teamwork collaboration reuniting celebrating kind of energy and on the bottom of the deck here we have appreciate this moment each and every situation has an opportunity to grow and find love 33 double confirmation there of reunion which then it equals six which is that balance healing and balance energy again Capricorn wow true love here cap cap all right Capricorn best of luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and as I always say with my channel to always always shine your light